Oh, child, listen, honey, I don't know what's going on in the female rap industry, but it has, like, literally become a frenzy since Nicki Minaj dropped Super Freaky Girl last night. I did a video about Cardi B versus JT. Now it's Malibu Mij and the Love and Hip Hop Girls. And honestly, this is just not necessary. I mean, it's entertaining for a while, but to some extent, I mean, we, we get tired. Like, I was even debating on whether I should do a video about this whole thing because, I mean, you can only keep up for so long. To, to Like, you know, at a certain point in time, it becomes exhausting and it becomes tired, like, honestly. And um, so this time it's Malibu Mij and and in this case, in this scenario, I think she inserted herself in this whole Cardi B situation because literally, I think Cardi B tweeted a tweet or liked a tweet that um, that um, that had something to do with Malibu Mij, but it seems like she decided to take it personal and basically take Cardi B and then uh, Bianca, who happens to be, who claims to be Cardi B's best friend. But listen, Annie, we've never seen her in any of Cardi B's music videos. She never got a single feature. But while well, Bianca still maintains that they are best friends. So she decided to take up for Cardi B, of course, just basically saying, oh, I'm going to fight with you to Malibu Mij. And then guess who also hopped into the whole situation? It's Maria Lynn. And both of those girls, the most that they get from Cardi B is a birthday invite, which also um, is open to a lot of other people. So it's not exactly specific to them uh, as friends I mean a lot of other people get it but they still maintain that they're best friends okay so they decided to take it uh, for Cardi B they decided to take up for Cardi B and honestly speaking it be it's becoming tiring this is becoming all love and hip-hop thing and honestly while I do not dispute the fact that Cardi B came from love and hip-hop I feel at some point she evolved past love and hip-hop and she's an A-lister now that's just my opinion and I feel like all this whole take team is not really doing much for her when you look at it the big blogs are not even posting this stuff they are tired they're exhausted with this whole behavior and honestly I, I i think it's unnecessary she then went ahead to post her location basically claiming that she was outside and she was ready to fight malibu i guess and people were like oh my god this is just so sad and malibu did respond by saying that by the time she wanted to step out to meet Cardi for a fight at this point i think both of them are just doing the most okay Okay. And furthermore, somebody was accusing Hennessy of talking about Nicki Minaj when she said all oh, 40-year-olds and stuff. And Cardi B decided to say, oh, yeah, she was basically talking about rap, but if that's how you feel about your favorite, well, good to know. And honestly, the whole part about that's how you feel about your favorite, I'm like, it was really not necessary. Okay, it seems like she really wants Nicki Minaj to, to respond so bad, but I'm glad Nicki is not paying attention to this. I feel like both of them has have should actually grow past this whole thing, okay? Okay, this whole love and hip hop take team versus the other girl is it's not really doing much for her honestly and at this point i think even glow should just be careful because her moment her moment of stardom might actually be overshadowed by all this chaos that is happening but that's just my opinion so do hop into the comment section and let me know if you agree with me because personally i mean homegirl is just doing a little bit too much right now and i wish she could just you know leave it there the whole posting your location thing like i mean we're not in high school anymore this is not high school okay she might not be 40 but she's a grown woman she's an adult and that whole thing i mean it's all fun and games when you're posting on the internet but when somebody actually really does pull up and there is a loss of life then it's not as fun anymore and it's really not worth it at the end of the day but that's just my opinion so do let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole situation personally i feel like home is now doing a little bit too much about this whole situation it's not necessary and this also feels like it's something something that was staged planned for marketing but whatever this marketing is supposed to do i'm not sure it's doing the same thing because now it's painting a very negative picture of cardi b now it's making us seem like she's from problematic and now people are beginning to wonder whether the pedestal that they put her was the right thing do you know what i'm saying because a lot of people are now questioning okay is this the person who was cry crying victim and you know crying villain Nicki minaj is a villain all this time now what what is this new vision that we're seeing of cardi b honestly so do open to the comment section and let me know what you think until my next one see you